Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards his cage, he believes this is his time. He believes he is destined to take this title. His preparation for this bout has gone absolutely according to plan. He's in fantastic shape with a great game plan, and he expects to walk out of his cage tonight as the new champion. UFC lightweight champion of the world, defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155 pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus, he is in his prime, he's making his way towards the cage, his training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular, he believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaku. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting on the Lake Forest, California, USA, presenting the challenger, the eraser. And now introducing the champion, this man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion. Championship out. I want you guys to do a clean fight. Follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Good luck tonight. Touch all right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's all right, go. here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. All right, round one is underway. This is for the UFC Lightweight Championship, and the 155-pound King Joe has really been dominant on this title run here. You know how hard it is to retain this title, but he's made it look relatively easy. Now the focus, another title defense here tonight. We'll see how it plays out early. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The power 
powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, and reverse. Inside control. He's looking for the Kimura. He's got his arm pinned down. That arm looks locked to me. He pulled his arm out of it. And they clinch here. And now he's going to try to stand up, and he does. That knee might have landed there. Over under hooks here. Oh, he worked hard for it. He's now got double under hooks in the corner. He's got him down. He gets his back. Excellent movement here on the ground. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Hits the reversal here, and in the full guard. Oh, he got reversed. He's going to try to take the back, I think. Back to full guard again. Very nice. Oh, man, I love it. Reversal and into half guard. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. Perfectly timed sweep. Trying to get to side control here. Cannot pass. Beautiful reversal. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Under two minutes to go here in round one. He's posturing up here. He's trying to take the back here. Oh, he pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, level change. Nice trip to get the takedown. And he reverses position. Very nice sweep, winds up in his guard. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. Oh, strong punch there by Nurmago Medov. 45 seconds remain in the round. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And he winds up on top. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Reversal here, nicely done. Reversal here, and in the full guard. And he gets reversed. He's trying to pass here. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. Round two straight ahead. Listen, the hundred pounds work. That's why I want you to do the same thing. Staying tight, get him down to the ground, control him. Don't be. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round. Here's a perfect head kick. And here we see a perfectly executed trip.
And here we see excellent timing with this trip. Incredible highlights in that round. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. All right, round two. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. Oh, nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, oh good left hand. Massive left punch there. Look at this, take down! Oh, he gets reversed. Reversal and into full guard. Oh, good left hand. Big body punch. Showing good defense here, controlling that arm, keeping him from hitting him. He's moved to full guard. He's got half guard. Moves into north-south. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Tries to pass, but cannot. In half guard. Beautifully executed sweep. Very nice sweep winds up in his opponent's guard. He's looking to take the back. He's got him inside control. He's got the clinch. Both fighters get up now. Nurmago Medov's got the double under hooks on the clutch now, Joe. Let's see what he can do. It. He's mounted him. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice hammer fist. He's moved in the half guard again. Nice reversal here. Excellent sweep, winds up in guard. Good hammer fist. Wow. Beautiful sweep. Trying to spin to the back. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Lands Huge a big elbow, elbow to the head. He's out. Oh, He's out of play. And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he hurt him. And he's taking his time. How about the ground and pound to finish the fight, Joe? That is as good an offensive execution as we have seen on the ground in recent memory. One big shot after the next. He wasn't just trying to score or buy time before the referee stood them up. He was trying to pound his opponent out of there, and that is exactly what he did. You wonder if some fighters will watch this footage and learn from that high-level offensive execution when it comes to the ground and pound. And let's take a look at that from a different angle. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, and still, the UFC's undisputed lightweight champion. This is a hard belt to hold down, 
but he made it look easy tonight as he gets the job done by way of the KO, and the celebration is on in the corner. What a moment between pupil and teacher and training partners. He had a lot of support in the building here tonight with family and friends, and I wish I had a ticket, Joe. That is a party that is gonna continue deep into the night.